So in today's video, we're going to be taking a deeper look into the Filmora video editing software and how you guys can download and add many effects and transitions and audios and stock footages to your video by using the Filmora film stock website. But with that said, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so right now we're in the Filmstock's website, and as you can see, they offer so many tools like effects, stock videos, music, sound effects, and stock images, and so much more that they offer that you guys can download and use in your edits using Filmora. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is head to the videos tab that you can find up here in the header. So as you can see, I just been looking at some of the videos that they offer and I just found the preferred one. So all you have to do is basically just click on the little download icon that you can see right in the corner and the video will start downloading automatically. Now I'm just going to scroll down and just look for any more footages that I need, such as this one. I'm just going to download it real quick. So the next thing is audio. So we're just going to go to the audio tab right here. And as you can see, they offer so many sound effects and features that you guys can use in your videos. But I'm just going to go to the music's part. And as you can see, they literally have so many categories of music, such as background, piano, commercial, cinematic, anything that you're looking for. You might be able to find it right here. So I'm just going to scroll down and just basically look and play throughout these music files and basically just hear them and just choose the ones that I like. So like this one, I'm just going to choose this one and all I have to do is just hit that little download icon that you can see in the corner like we did on our videos. And once that is done, I can download this one as well. So these are going to be our background music that we're going to be using for today's video. And you guys can just come here to this website and basically roam around and see what you guys can find. So you guys can download it when you're using Filmora. And like I said before, they offer so many effects. They offer a free category as well as the products with the different versions of Filmora if you guys want to try it out. But now that we have downloaded all the things that we're going to be using for this edit, let's jump into Filmora. Okay guys, so right now we're in Filmora and this is basically the normal outline and template on how Filmora would look like. Now, really fast, we're just going to go over how to import your media files. If you want a more depth description on how to do it, I suggest that you guys watch my first Filmora video. So in order to import your files, all you have to do is just click on that icon right there to import your media files. Then a window should pop up showing all your files. Now I'm just going to go to the folder where I kept everything where I downloaded everything and I suggest that you guys do the same thing so you can have everything ready to go. So I'm just going to select on that little check mark so I can open all the files at the same time. Now these are all the files and clips and audios files that I'm going to be using to edit this video right now and all we have to do is just hit open. But that's pretty much it. It basically imports all your files and now we can get started actually editing and putting together this video in the timeline. Okay, so right now we're just going to pick one of our clips and we're just going to put it in the timeline. Now there's two ways of doing this. One way is actually selecting the clip and dragging it down. But the other way you can do it is just basically hovering over the video and then you can see that little plus sign on top. All you have to do is just click on it and the video should appear in the timeline. Now feel free to pause whenever in the video in order to catch up on any steps or settings that I may be using during this edit. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is adding a basic effect into your video. So in order to do this, all you have to do is go to the effects tab on the top. And as you can see, there are many types of effects that Filmora actually offers in the editing software. But as you can see right here, we actually have the option to get more effects. Now, this is a great option. If you guys want to have a different type of effects, you can go back to their website and just look for the effect that you're actually looking for. But now all we have to do is go to all effects and I just want to find an effect that's really cinematic. So I'm just going to use cinema 21 by 9. All we have to do in order to implement it is actually click and drag it to our clip. And once we drop it, we can see that the bars has set up on our video. And that's basically how you can add all these effects to your videos. Now the next thing we're going to add is a fade in transition. So in order to add this, all we have to do is just go to transitions and you guys can mess around with any transition you want. As you can see, there are many types, but I'm just going to be using the fade in transition. All you have to do is just click, drag and just place it in front of your video. Now, if you go to the edge, this little cursor should appear and we can just move around the size and length of the duration of the fade in effect. So next up is actually adding the rest of our clips to the timeline and adding any effects or transitions that we may want. So in order to do this, we're just going to select our second clip and then we're just going to drag and drop it right beside the first clip that we chose. And we can just zoom out right here just to get a little bit more space. And we can do the same thing with our third clip. Just select it and then drag it and drop it right beside our second clip. So in total, we have three clips ready to go. 
Now one thing that we have to do is add the same effect that we did to our first clip to the rest of these two clips. So in order to do that, we're just going to go back to effects and then find the same effect that we chose, which is cinema 21 by 9. Now you guys can use any other effects, but all you have to do is just drag and drop it to the two other clips that we just put in the timeline. Now as you can see the effect added to our rest of the clips. And what we're going to do is actually just zoom in and get everything positioned correctly so you guys can actually start editing. So the next thing that we're going to do is add our transitions at the end and beginning of each clip. So all you have to do is just go to transitions and as you can see there are many types of transitions that one can use and we can just look through here and just basically choose the one that you actually like. So for now I'm just going to use a speed blur and you guys can use any transitions you want basically on your personal preference. So in order to implement one, all you have to do is basically drag and drop it. And right between the beginning and end of our first and second clip, and we can go to the edge and adjust it how long you want it. Now we're just going to be looking for a second one, and we're just going to choose this one. And we're going to do it the same way. Just drag and drop it right in between the last two clips, and just adjust the size of it. So if you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel because I do more tutorial videos like this one. But before we get any further down, we have a quick message from our sponsor. Now the Filmora 9 video editing software is very easy to use and very easy to navigate as it's very beginner friendly and straightforward. I just been using this video editing software for a good while now and I can surely say that it's very easy to use and you can make some great videos out of it. Now Filmora is offering a free trial so you guys can go onto their website and try this for yourself and let me know what you think of it down in the comments. Filmora also has their own stock website that allows you to download mini effects, packs, images, and stock footage that you guys can use in your own videos when editing with Filmora. I do suggest that you guys at least try Filmora for yourselves and go check out their websites, which the link is going to be in the description below. But with that said, let's get on to the video. Okay guys, so now that we have our basic video sequence already set in place, what we can do is just add some minor tweaks, such as trimming one of the videos if you feel that one of the clips is too long when you're doing your own videos. So we can go over that real quickly, but the only thing you have to do is just go to the edge of any of the videos that you have, and then you should get this little marker where you can actually drag the video and basically trimming the video on whatever duration you guys want it. So we can do that for our second clip and to our last clip we can just drag and basically trim the video wherever we want it to start and wherever we want it to finish. So what's cool about this is that the effects will, will be there, nothing will be changed, your transition will stay the same and you're just essentially trimming your video up making it longer or shorter. One last thing to add is our fade out transition that we can add to our last clip. So all we have to do is just go again, go to transitions and we're just going to be looking out for our fade out transition. As you can see it's right here, all you have to do is just drag and drop it all the way to the end of our clip and adjust the size and duration of your fade out transition and that's basically it. The next thing that we're going to be doing is actually adding music into our videos. So what we're going to do is basically add our audio file underneath our video track onto our audio track. So like we've been doing all day, we're just going to select on the audio file and then drag it underneath the video clip onto the audio track. Once we got that, we're just going to trim it wherever you want to. In order to do that, you just grab the little cursor and then put it where you want it to end. Right click and hit split. Now this is another way to trim a video, but the audio should split. And now that we have the other part of the audio clip, we can drag that out. And all we have to do is just basically hit delete on our keyboard or you can just right click and delete. So the next thing we're going to be doing is some light editing. So make sure you have your audio file selected and then we're just going to go here to this little settings icon and a new window should open. So in here what we're going to be doing is adjusting a fade in and fade out effect on our audio. We're just going to set a fade in effect. You guys decide how long you want it and a fade out effect. And as you can see there are little shadows appearing in our audio. The next thing is we're just going to adjust the volume. So we're just going to use this little slider. And we're just gonna adjust the volume how high or how low we want it. And once we're done with that, we just hit OK. The next thing we're gonna do is add our second piece of audio, which is our second music file. We're gonna be doing the same thing, just drag and drop onto the timeline and match it accordingly where the first audio file ends off. Next, we're just gonna trim it and we're just gonna go to the end of this file and basically drag it all the way down like we've been doing with our video files. And there we have it. All we have to do is just adjust it, make sure they're not overlapping that much. 
Now that we have adjusted our audio how we want to, we're just going to repeat the same process. So I'm here in the editing window, and all we're going to do is add a fade in and fade out effect, and you guys can choose a duration, and we're just going to mess around with the volume. To match the first audio's volume, make sure it's consistent. And now I'm going to do some quick adjustments, matching the audio clip, and making it a little bit longer. But that's basically it. Now we have added music to our videos, and we have added a fade in and fade out effect, and adjusted their volume. Okay guys, so the last thing that we're going to do to our edit is actually applying another effect. Now this effect is a little bit different than the one that we actually implemented earlier in the beginning of this video, but it's basically the same process on how to apply it onto our video. So the first thing we're going to do is go back here to titles, and make sure you're in the all category, and as you can see, this is the film stocks more effects tab or option that you guys can choose now clicking this option will take you back to the website where you have to sign in but they do offer free effects that you guys can use now all we have to do is just click on it and it should take us back to the website okay guys so as you can see we're in the film stocks website right now and we are in the effects tab as you can see up here in the tab and this is basically some of the effects that film stocks has to offer and as you can see they also have after effects packs but right now we're just going to be focusing on Filmora since we're using it so all you have to do is just scroll down and just look at the ones that you like and i'm just going to choose this one the title essential pack as you can see it's pretty basic giving you title slides for your videos so this is the one i'm going to be choosing and all we have to do is just click on the download icon as we did before in our previous downloads and this little window should pop open once we hit the open effects window and as you can see the new window has opened and the essential title pack has completed its download this basically downloads itself onto the Filmora video editing software that we're using in order to edit our video so all we have to do is just jump back to that and find our title packs okay guys so right now we're in Filmora and in order to find the new pack that we just downloaded all we have to do is just go to titles and just come down here to media and as you can see this is the whole essential pack contents that I contained and there are so many different titles types of title packs effects that we can use in our video and you guys can do this process with any packs that you guys may choose to download but this is just an example on how to do it so first off all we have to do is just scroll down and just look at whatever effects that we're looking forward to add in our video so all i'm going to do is just choose a basic title slide introduction i'm just going to hit the plus button on the effect like we've been doing before and as you can see it added itself to the timeline on top of our previous main shot now all I'm just going to do is just going to drag it onto the timeline and just position itself wherever I want it. In this case I'm just going to put it near the beginning so I can give this video an introduction. So in order to view this pack I'm just going to move the cursor on top of the title pack and as you can see we can see the actual effect on top of our video as an overlay. So now the main part is actually editing this title pack so we can make it say what we want to. So in order to do that, all we have to do is just come here to the title pack clip and just basically right click on it. Once we right click, all we have to do is just come here all the way down where it says advanced edit. This will allow us to edit the text in the title pack and we should be presented with a new window. As you can see, a new window has appeared and this is basically our editing window in order to edit the pack that we just chose and put it on our timeline. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically select the word pack right here, as you can see on the little mini timeline. And I'm just going to highlight it and basically delete it because I'm not going to be using that word into this title. I'm going to do the same thing with the word title. I'm just going to select it, highlight it and just delete it, leaving the only one word is essential. And this one we're actually going to edit. So what I'm going to do is just select it here on this little timeline and I'm just going to highlight it once again, delete it and just write the title that I want to. So I'm just going to name this beach shot. Once I'm done, I'm just going to hit OK. Now, as you can see, there are many other settings that I can deal with, such as the color, the opacity, the size, the font style and so many other things. But just for this video, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. In this window, we're just going to hit OK as well, so we can actually add it to the official title pack. And as you can see, once I move it, it has updated and the new title is Beach Shot, like I put it. So this is basically a simple way to implement a quick effect onto your video. Now I'm just going to add another quick effect onto this video just to spice it up a little bit. And this is an easy one that you guys can add to your videos as well. So for this next effect that we're going to be adding, we're going to go onto titles and going to the lower thirds category. Now we're just going to be adding a quick simple lower third that I just downloaded from the film stocks website and you guys can do it as well. It's basically the same process that I showed you before. So I'm just going to pick a simple one 
hitting the plus button and it adds it on top of our timeline and all we're just going to do is just click and drag and basically position it anywhere in the video. So I'm just going to put the cursor on top of it right here and as you can see it says your headline here and it's essentially what you want to say as your lower third. So like we did before we're just going to right click on our clip and just go to advanced edit. As you know this should open a new window so we can edit the text, the size and the placement of the lower third. So as you can see this is our main menu and for now I'm just going to adjust the size and the placement of where this lower third should appear. So I'm just going to put it a little bit on top of the black bars so it just doesn't look that distracting. And again we're just going to highlight the text and we're just going to delete it and then just write whatever we want to write. So for right now I'm just going to write amazing scenes. And if we come up here we can actually mess around with the fonts like I told you before but once I'm done all I have to do is just hit OK and hit OK in this little window as well. Once that is done your text should update and as you can see the update is right there and it's ready to go. So this is basically how you guys can add special effects onto your videos. Now there are many more effects packs that you guys can download from Foam Stocks, so I suggest that you guys go check it out. But the next step is exporting our final video. So the last two things that we have to do is, is saving and exporting our video. So in order to save our video, it's pretty simple to do it. All we have to do is just go to file and then we have to go down to save project or save project as and just click on it. Now a new window should appear and you guys can pick the location whatever file you want to save it to in whatever folder and all you have to do is name it so i'm just going to name it real quick and just hit the save button and your video is saved the next thing that we have to do is exporting our video now this part is really easy but if you want a more in-depth tutorial you can check out my first familiar video like i said before and i'll be showing you the best settings on that video but straightforward is basically you just go to the little export button that's on the top and then a new window should appear. Now we're just going to keep it at local and our format is going to be mp4. Now we're just going to name the video and then these are just your basic settings. The encoder h.264 and everything that's on here I would just suggest that you guys to keep it at default and just hit ok. Once that is done you just hit export and a new window should appear and that means that the export process has begun. That's basically how you guys can save your video and export it in for more. Okay guys, so I hope this video helped you on adding more effects and transitions to your video using Femora. Now I do suggest that you guys go check out my first Femora video, which I go way in depth on how to import the videos, put it in the timeline, trimming the video out, and using the best export settings for YouTube or any other media platform. So that's pretty much it for the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out Femora in the link below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. But that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys on the next one.